Okay, they just announced final runouts for the girls' varsity race, and uh, there's Terry Beloga running out there. We got the gun, we got the smoke, and we got the charge out. Girls' varsity here at OCIAA. And Carrie is not on the lead at this point. She will be now. Yes, now she is. Okay, Carrie Belorga, you can really see her out there as she speeds around Hessian Lake here. Green uniform. High white socks, and she is coming around. Again, course record. Um, I think it's actually. I think I gave a wrong one. I think it's more like 16:37. Eh, we'll check. But um, and that would be with Katie Chewy. So she's got a perfect day to go for it at the very least. Running by herself, but that can be an advantage. And up the hill. Okay, we see through the. Way to go, Carrie! Great job, kiddo! Great job, Carrie! Okay. Uh, it's going to be wild for any other runners coming around. So we're going to get down the hill here. Let's go, Carrie! Next in with runners coming around to go up the hill. Carrie Beloga is uh, coming around for the hill because she's definitely the only runner we'll get here. Okay, looking good for Carrie here. She's coming in. It uh, is at 1612 right now. Sixteen twenty-two. Uh -oh. Time is ticking away, but I think she can still do it. Yes, in. I think she got it. Until someone corrects me, but I think it was sixteen thirty-seven. Okay, we got the last race of the day. Girls B. 
uh, has somebody, again, uh, as we were saying, she's been the tops of the nation this year. Speed ratings now, I think she's number two. But anyway, Carrie Beloga and Cornwall are in there. They are favored for the state championship. Other teams was Monticello, Goshen, who won it uh, last year. Uh, Beacon Lords. Um, uh, Marble? Um, orange, team, orange and black team out there. Um, and uh, yeah, a whole lot of uh, good teams. Oh, New Paltz, of course. And uh, it's going to be a great race, great times today. Uh, it's getting hot, so don't expect uh, like Terry to run too hard today, I think. I mean, you don't want to do anything dumb, you know, a week and a half before state. So, uh, but it should still be good. Okay, last race of the day is off and away. Class B, Kerry Beloga and Cornwall. Expected to be leading it out here. Ah, uh, she is blasting away. Again, we're not expecting her to be running really hard today because it's hot and yeah. she's got one and a half weeks to yeah, skate, she's but, really well back, but uh, she's... Okay. Mary Baraga, hey, she's, she's killing it today uh, in hot weather. Week and a half before state. We'll see how this works out for her. Okay. Do the best we can here with this race. Uh, Gonna carry from afar here because um, she is just so far ahead of everybody else that uh, we can't get the usual spots here. But Carrie Beloga, she is killing it today here at Bear Mountain. Great job, Kerry. Great work, kid. Let's go, Kaz! Let's go, Kerry. Good job, good job, good job. Here's a look, uh, heading through. And a lot of the footage will be just about her because, uh, okay, we're starting to rolling a little bit late here. Kerry already busted through. She's headed to the finish. has made the turn and is uh, coming home. Let's go, Kerry! Come on, Kerry! We've got Kerry finishing in. Um, not sure about the time at all. But uh, it had to have been a good one on a very hot day. You're watching the best girls in the Northeast. The girls' championship race here at the Champs Make Northeast. Sure, you're going around the pole. Down to the finish line. So Kerry Beloga is out in front with Zario Machia to begin here. Not unexpected. State champions galore in this race. They're coming up. Kerry Beloga, Zario Machia on the lead. I see Ruth White from Maine Orono in third. Uh, yeah. Going for the top ten here. That's what I Alicia from Massachusetts. Way to go! 
Massachusetts. Jay Belonga. Coming in. She's headed on to San Diego. Second place there. Also making her second trip to the national championships. The senior from New Windsor, New York. Third, excuse me. Third trip. 1724.9. Carrie Belonga.